Today at shopdap.com, we're gonna show you how to take the steering wheel off a of Mark 7 and replace these buttons. So our all track, when it was in the accent and the airbag deployed, these buttons got damaged. Uh, we are replacing them with new ones because uh, probably um, this, we're gonna make this vehicle dailyable and one of the buttons glares right in your eye because it has lights that are just in your face. You also can't adjust the volume while you're driving uh, via the steering wheel controls, which is a really first world problem and complaint, but that, that's, uh, that's the life we're living in. So we are going to be replacing these and show you how to replace or take off the steering wheel while you're there. Now, to remove the airbag from the steering wheel, you have to access it from the side. So we're gonna turn the steering wheel like this vertically, and you're gonna access it from the back here. But we are going to actually disconnect our battery first, but I wanna show you what's gonna happen. If you don't, you're gonna set the horn off while you're trying to get this process of the steering wheel off. So that's the horn ground out while you're trying to disconnect it. It's a problem. So you shouldn't do that. Let's disconnect the battery. So we're just gonna take our battery and take our 10 millimeter and loosen this guy up and then flip this thing up and off. Then we can go back in the car. Okay, so to get access to the airbag, you do wanna have your steering wheel completely vertical like that. And we're gonna loosen the steering column, put it down all the way and pull it out all the way. Then we'll lock it back in place because you wanna get as much space here as possible. So we're gonna grab our tool. Uh, I couldn't find my flathead of this size, but uh, this is a Phillips and it will work just fine. You're accessing a clip that's inside the steering wheel that holds the airbag in place. So, so we're gonna show you this off the car, but if you're looking, we have a mirror here that we're showing you from the vehicle with everything installed. And so on top is the steering column and we're looking back at the vehicle. Now that silver clip right in the middle there is what we're gonna be pushing down on to release this. Okay, so here's the side of the steering wheel here, here's the center, and what we're looking at is that tab. So we're just showing you this off the car. So this is what you're prying on, is this, this bar right here, and you're gonna move it past this little metal tab you gotta push past to get it, allow the steering wheel to release. So that's what you're getting, prying on to get this thing past, and this screwdriver is not gonna do, but you'll see, I just wanted to show you so you can see the movement of it to see what you're prying on, is get the screwdriver on it, and then kind of wiggle it off and you can see it kind of pops loose just like that. And you get one side off and then you spin it around, get our key in and then turn to the other side and then pop this side out. Now, what you just saw was pretty, a pretty easy way. You're probably not gonna have as easy of a time with this as I do. And that just popped out just like that. So now to remove this, we're actually gonna pry back on this white part of this plug. You will wanna be careful you don't stab yourself in the thumb like I did while I was testing out to show this. And then once you pull that back, you just push down and then pull that out. Now, there's another plug still here on the left-hand side that plugs into this, uh, this switch right here, which is what we're replacing. And I can't really see it on the camera. And you just push down and then pull that out. And now our airbag is out and we can put that on our seat. Okay, so to remove our steering wheel trim, which is what we're gonna have to do to get these buttons out, we have to pry it off. Now, this is held on with clips and I'm gonna use this hook tool, which is a pick that we can leave in the description where you can find that as well as a bone tool to prevent you from damaging anything. So what I'm gonna do is kind of pull and pry together to get this thing to pop up. Now, if you're just replacing, taking the steering wheel off, you do not need to do this. We only need to show you this for actually removing this trim completely. Now, the key with this is that this thing's on there really good, but uh, you can't push too hard because you can crack it, especially if you're using an object that has a flat surface like a screwdriver or something like that, you could end up damaging this. So I'm gonna work this around to try to get this thing popped up and, and you gotta be patient with it. Because if you just yank on this thing, you probably end up cracking it. And then you'll be buying a new trim from us. Found at shopapp.com. We'll just drive around with the trim in your car. <laughs> you can see there's a gap here underneath that I can kind of stick my fingers under now so it's starting to pull up. There we go. So once I pry, once I got it popped up uh, and I have it spread a little bit, what I'm doing is taking it from the back side here and I'm just pushing to get it popped up. And so I got this side up just then. I'm gonna try to do the same over here. And you can see it's now completely off. So I'm gonna work around 
and now go up here and kind of do the same thing where I'm going to try to push from the back and try to make sure that I have a good spot to push on before you continue. And you, what you want to do is, what I'm going to do is watch, especially these really fine points to make sure you're not stressing them too much as this thing flexes because it's going to, it's going to flex and move around a little bit. And if you flex it too much, you're going to crack it there. Then you're going to be buying one from us or just drive around with a shitty looking trim. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pulling over here, and because I've never done this, I'm not exactly sure, but I will say it's hung up here, but this feels like if I pulled too hard on it, it would break. So this is one of those things that, this is really just based on my experience. It's hard for me to describe to tell you what it feels like if something is gonna break. I just know from experience that that's what things feel like when they could break, so I, then I move on to a different place. So. I'm gonna to continue to try to pry on this area over here to get it kind of loose from this main area and then maybe try to continue to work from a top around this way on these outer sides. The, the, whatever this is, if you look, there are these really heavy duty mounts that go into the steering wheel. That's what you have, they're like barbed. You gotta get those out. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, so I got this part to release. What I did was I stuck this screwdriver on the edge here on this lip. And then I put my fingers underneath and pushed with this while I pulled with this hand and that helped it release. So uh, that actually got it up and that's really, what you need is constant pressure while in multiple areas while you're pulling at the points where it clips. So once we get this trim off, I can show you where the clip points are to give you a better idea of exactly where you should be prying. <sighs> there we go, baby. Okay, so we're completely loose here, but the key is we don't wanna to try to take this up and out because if you yank on this side, you'll probably snap something over here. So you have to have the entire trim loose before you try to pull it out. <sighs> okay, now, right now, this is really important actually. Both of these sides right here, you can see it coming, doming up and right here, it's stuck on the leather. So I'm gonna grab this pocket screwdriver to try to pry it off the leather because you'll probably end up destroying the the leather on your steering wheel if you rip it all up if this thing kind of pulls out with the leather yeah so there we go and both sides kind of did the same thing so we make sure we push that down make sure it's pulled in tight so that when we snap it back in it's all good so we have this connector right here this white one we're going to be removing there should be another one on the opposite side and I believe we're just gonna pry on the back here and pop that off just like that, a little tab on the back. And the same thing over here, just take that little tab, pry it off, and we can remove it. Now we're gonna remove the steering wheel. Now this is pretty easy once we've gotten to this point. And again, if you weren't taking this trim off, you're just trying to swap the steering wheel or do whatever, you can just uh, remove all that stuff after the fact. So we're just gonna take our 12 millimeter triple square and that nut is off. And then we can just pull that off. One note, if you look here, there is an alignment mark here on the steering wheel and then on the shaft of the steering wheel right here. You wanna make sure you have that or you're aware of that. And you can make your own marks if you don't have one to make sure that you line the steering wheel back up uh, in the exact right place. Okay, so we're gonna be replacing our switches. We are going to remove these silver torque screws. One note before we do that, I wanna make sure you take note of how this ribbon is run because obviously you're gonna to wanna to duplicate that. I'm not a big fan of this folding over the ribbon here. If, I'm, if I can avoid that, I'm going to. I uh, don't know how possible that's going to be. So uh, we are gonna be using a T8 Torx. Most people are not gonna have something this small. It is not included in pretty much any Torx set you're gonna find, but we're gonna remove these T8 Torx. And it's just these silver ones that hold these trims in place. The black ones are actually what assemble these buttons together. All right, now we have all those out and I'm just gonna pop these out. It should be pretty simple to pry, pry these out. We have some broken pieces that fell apart with ours as they came out. And it seems like you kind of push the front up and then they pry out. And then again, more broken pieces falling out from when our airbags went off. Pull this up because these tabs kind of hold it and just hold it down. Kind of hook underneath and then we're out. All right, so to install these, I'm gonna go the opposite way. I'm just gonna kind of hook these in place and then pop that down. You should kind of feel it sit down. You do have to clear this. You have to kind of spread open the trim a little bit 
to get that in place. And now I'm gonna run this around. Okay, so I put these trims in. The one thing I do wanna note is when I pop these in, you wanna be able to get this ribbon down below here to try to get it in place. And what I've always, what I looked at and what I tried to do as I was running this around was make sure that the flat portion of these barb areas, that the ribbon is at least below there because these are, these are stop points for these mountings. So you wanna make sure that the height does not go above that. Anything above that potentially could get pinched. So uh, we do wanna make sure that that is the case. Now when we're reinstalling this, we're gonna plug this into both of our white connectors and then we'll pop this back down in place. Now, nothing special here. We're just gonna push down, kind of um, walk it around as we do it. You will wanna make sure, remember those parts of the steering wheel with the leather kind of pulled up are good and down and everything's pulled in before you do anything. I'm gonna kind of pop these down and walk it around. Now it'd be smarter to do this in the car, but I'm not smart. And as you hear there, there was a little bit of cracking, nothing cracked, but if you're push and don't get enough even pressure, you could have that. So what I would suggest is try not to force it, just lean, kind of lean into it as you walk it around. Okay, so now we're in the car, we're gonna put our steering wheel back in place. Now this thing just splines in place. And again, you wanna make sure your mark is lined up. So ours is, and then we'll thread our bolt in, and then we'll snug this guy up. And we will give you the torque spec on this on the screen so you can take a look at that. Now that your steering wheel is in the car, you can actually just push down on the trim now that you have a little more leverage on it. And and make sure that everything is seated properly. Now we're gonna plug this black plug in. This goes in the side right here and the tab faces towards the vehicle. And you gotta find that and kind of push that in place. Yellow one, just so you know, yellow connectors always signify airbags on Volkswagen and Audis. And then we can push that white tab in place and we're all set to just push in the steering wheel, which just, you gotta make sure you're mounted in place properly. And then you can snap it in place like that. And we're ready to reconnect our battery. And all we gotta do, put our ground on, push that down, and then we'll snug it up. Now that our buttons are on, I can turn up my music with these buttons. We're gonna get copyright striked for that song. <laughs> Okay, so after we did our steering wheel, we did have a fault in your steering angle sensor. So uh, for that, and that's because we unplugged it from the vehicle. So we are going to erase the fault with an OBD-11 and then we've completed this particular job. And there you have it. Installing steering wheel and steering wheel buttons on a Mark 7. Just so you know, if you're not familiar, we have around 160 videos on Mark 7 DIYs and related videos, which we will link to the playlist in the description where you can check those out. We have just about everything you could ever want around doing stuff on your Mark 7 model. Again, purchases for parts like this or any others help support videos just like this one. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it. <laughs>